But truly, uh, the motivation was really this concept that I've um, focused on my whole career, which is this idea of kind of opportunity for all. Uh, and I think it's something that's touched anyone that's had extensive experience um, working uh, in communities where people don't have the opportunity, access, resources, and relationships uh, that many people in more developed countries have. So I heard about the symposium by email. It was one of those things where I think it was, you know, uh, this is actually, uh, this whole initiative is something that I work on as kind of a personal project of passion. So it was probably something at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night when I was going through old messages that I hadn't had a chance to read uh, where I saw it and saw that I was maybe four hours off the deadline. <laughs> um, but uh, just recognized that it was such an amazing opportunity to connect back with a, a broader community of people um, who might be interested to engage on these issues. So my motivation in being here is really kind of uh, twofold. One is um, I recognize, uh, I think what we're doing in the Philippines is very exciting. I think it has enormous potential, but I also recognize uh, that me, we, all the people even that we already have involved can't do it alone. And so I was particularly keen to come here and connect with other people or organization that had tried similar things in the past to learn you know, what had gone well, what challenges did they face, what could we learn? Um, I thought it would be great, and my hope in coming here was to connect with folks who had thought about those issues, who could point us in the right direction so that we could bring the best of the global community's experience on these issues and use that to make sure that whatever we do in the Philippines has more impact. So if we can inspire someone in some other country to start you know, doing their own explorations, uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, advance on these issues uh, much more faster and have impact on a global scale. Very tangibly, that means helping more people graduate from high school, graduate from university, and going into better and more productive jobs, and the spillover benefits that that will entail in terms of sending money back to their families, in terms of being a role model to other people in their communities who can then go on and will shoot and achieve much greater things. We're still very early stage, and I'm uh, apparently, my next, I'm extremely high in optimism. <laughs> so uh, so uh, I'm sure there are many, many obstacles, and I'm sure I will uh, not worry about them until they stand in front of my face and, and stop me in my tracks. Uh, I mean, I think, um, you know, a lot of people, I've been meeting with a lot of um, particularly impact investors who have come to meet with me in the Philippines and say, oh, you know, I thought this was a business and this is great and I would love to invest. And I said, actually, no, I'm running this you know, completely you know, on social terms. I just want to find a way to get these technologies out there and, and help people. And I'm not trying to create a business model off it. Um, you know, I, I haven't hit a constraint on funding yet, but nor have we needed huge funds yet. Um, so that could be one piece. Um, uh, but I, I am increasingly thinking, you know, we mentioned we talked a little about charter schools in the presentation. So I'm thinking you create that as a company. That's something that could be invested in. Uh, you know, and then that's um, something that hopefully also makes some of the funding challenges more manageable. Probably my biggest concern, which is something we talked about before, is just the um, uh, making sure that the tool uh, does what we believe it does in the context and also like managing the unintended consequences. It's something that I'm very, very focused on. Um, but you know, obviously, as we get more people, more organizations involved and do things at larger scale, uh, making sure that you're laser focused on, on those issues and that you're kind of managing them appropriately and seeing any negative unintended consequences and dealing with them uh, accordingly as you're moving along is very important. So that's, uh, those are the things I'm thinking about. I love the framing uh, from the discussion this morning. Uh, I was furiously scribbling notes on my pad. Uh, to me, it's been really energizing. I think it's, um, it's neat to see so many people in so many different contexts, I feel, trying to work on the same problem in, in different ways. And it's given me a lot of ideas and certainly um, a lot of enthusiasm to, to go back and see, you know, what you can pull from the learnings and all these different initiatives and, and apply it in our context.